Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Border City Rock Talk, where you get great news, great interviews, great interviewees, and sometimes a comedic touch. Wow. Today I am so stoked. Uh, holy shnikes, holy shirts and pants. Yeah, I just saw the wedding crashers. Anyways, I've got a few great guests, three in particular today. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, please. That way you get these great interviews. Coming up, I've got, you remember the Scorpions, Yuli John Roth. Uh, the next week or so, I've got uh, Tommy Ray Brown, the widow of James Brown. I feel good. And also I have Jenna and Rachel from Paradise Kitty. So without further ado, I bring to you Travis Lexi Fox Haley. We've got an announcement from Travis. He's taking a bit of a break from the music scene. So what's going on, Trav? Uh, well, hey, good to talk to you. Uh, yeah, I, I, and you know what, if it wasn't for these guys, um, you know, I probably would have still been on break, but uh, fortunately enough, you know, they, they, this thing started when it did. Unfortunately, um, you know, there was a lot of things that were, that were on my plate that I didn't see uh, happening when I initially, um, when we initially got this thing going. There was a lot of uh, hiccups, but for the most part, right now, I can say that those hiccups have They've been, um, I'm thankful for them. Um, I have a, uh, a little baby girl now, and um, I relocated, and I moved um, to outside Chicago, um, kind of just to get out of the L.A. area and, and kind of just start new with the family. And, and obviously, that, that, that um, I had to put a pause on uh, music, unfortunately. And, and, and again, um, not being, in, you know, um, in, in – the band that I was previously in, So Panther. Um, I don't know what I would have done. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that I got out when 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 I got out, and then things happened when they were. Because being on tour uh, right now, it's been it's tough enough to catch up with these guys on gigs, but I can't imagine be, be, being on tour. Right. So I'm getting I'm getting a delay. Uh, are you guys hearing me already? Yeah, we hear you fine. Perfect, man. Okay, good, good, good. Then I'll keep yeah. going. Um, but. Uh, but I'm just thankful enough that um, I'm able to get this time with my family and, and, and obviously to take care of myself, stay healthy, and raise a, uh, raise a, uh, a beautiful family, beautiful um, baby girl. Right on. Trav? So, uh, so, so that's where I'm at right now. And, um, and you know, it, it does suck that I can't be there for a lot of the gigs, but in the meantime, I'm thankful to have uh, my extended family. Um, uh, you know, that, that's give me this time off that, that is necessary. I'm, I'm thankful for their understanding. And, uh, and so that's where I'm at right now. But uh, I know that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a long answer to a short question, but, but no, it, the it, gist of it, that's what's going on. It's the perfect answer because, uh, yeah, Ernest, like, you know, Travis is, mm. regardless of me, of me, of me. Jeez. It's okay. We lost the video. We're good. So what were you saying, Dave? Um, I was saying, are we back? Yeah. Uh, um, I was saying that uh, regardless of the music situation, uh, you know, Travis is a part of our family. Like, nothing's going to ever change that. You know, and musically, like, we have a lot yet still to accomplish with each other. But this is such a, uh, an integral part of his life. Yeah. Um, him bringing in, a, you know, a new baby girl and, you know, still pretty much a newlywed. Um, and we, there's nothing we don't want to do to, that – Whatever suggests that we don't support him and the time that he needs off, because when he does when he does come back, you know it's going to be in full force, man. And we would never want him to be wholeheartedly into something when he's missing his baby and missing his wife. Yeah. So this has just been a blessing for us to to uh, kind of watch him uh, go through this you know this miracle of an experience and and just knowing that he's always with us you know we, we there's not a single show that we do you can look at the internet where we don't introduce travis on stage where we don't tell the audience that we're missing one of our family members uh and we don't yeah, yeah. I, I don't mean to interrupt you Jason. I, I i really appreciate that and but you know to, to say that too you know with that being allowed there's a lot of um there's a lot of of growth um there's a lot of growth that has, has come within me uh, and, and taking this time apart too. To, maybe this is a part uh, two to, to, to answer my question, but Diggs, when you, when you talk, it's like you're talking to my brother. So it's like, I, I, <laughs> I, I kind of have to extend the, the part of taking this time off. It has helped me grow and step away from um, 
yeah, it's music that is uh, that is my life. It's so important to me. Um, but it's also important for me not to take on too much and to bite up more than I get to chew and 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 keep myself healthy. And I think that is the uh, that that is a, the, the biggest thing for me right now is 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 being mentally um, able to to do the things that make me happy. Yep. And and music is one, and 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 being a father and a husband is another one. And so this was much needed time for my mental and for for anybody else that that. And I do have a small family, I really do. It it, it is it is, as far as as far as these guys are concerned. Um, it, it, they're they're a big part of it, and then my immediate family. So um so it's important that I took this time off, and and I'm so glad, Dix. And, and Katie, you guys realize this um, as well as we've talked in the, you know, in, in a, you know, during this process, you know, frequently. But um, but with you know, but doing it, our first interview in a, in a minute, um, it's it's good to sort sort things out again and to put everything in perspective. So so uh, I'm glad we're doing this anyway. So yeah, and, anyway, and back to you, Dix. I apologize for interrupting. You did, baby. And you know, I'll let Chris elaborate a little bit more because her and Travis had this amazing phone call the other night, Ernest. Uh, you know, just about. The, um, you know, just the, the affirmation about like what this is all about. You know, we, we started this predicated on like brotherhood and friendships and never about business, understanding that obviously it's the music business, but we're still a relatively baby band. You know, we've been around, you know, for one year and we were kind of robbed for six months out of that year being with like TKO and kind of getting sidejacked with those guys. And they took like, you know, a lot of months off our table of not doing what they said they were going to do for us, but that's a whole different story. But mm -hmm. for Travis to like be away for, you know, the last five months, we haven't felt like that because we feel like he's with us every step of the way. You know, we know he's part of our family. Uh, we know he's in this band. And when Travis is ready to come back, we will be waiting. It's that simple. Like we have not moved on without him. We don't ever consider him to not be a member of the band. Um, but we rightfully understand, Ernest, that this is – He's only going to get one of these, you know. Maybe, maybe they have another baby. I don't know, but it's like right now, for him to relish in this moment is is he above everything. Like we come a far second to his family, uh, and we recognize that because we're not selfish with him or with his time. So, uh, I'm sure you probably have a couple of things you want to uh, talk about, but I just wanted Chris to talk a little bit more about that. If Seven wants to say something, you know, sure. Yeah, you know, we've all known each other for decades and um travis is, is a, our brother no doubt and uh, as many years as he sacrificed to for the name of rock and roll um we're happy that he gets to have this this time to recalibrate to um have a family um and uh however long that takes um we'll be here for him always we'll always be here for him so right um i just wanted to say trav you sound great and I and I, I don't know you, but um, I just want to say you sound great. Um, it's fair to say you're taking a break from music. You're quitting music for now. And so, yeah, family comes first. Me and uh, Chris have talked about that. Family comes first, and that's all that matters. So all your fans out there are going to be watching this. Um, um, they're going to only wish you the best if they're true good people, and, and they all are. So I, I am very happy for you, Trav, with your new baby. And um, we'll see you sometime. But, I mean, yeah, we just wanted to kind of clear this up that um, you, you're taking a break for now. And when you come back, it's when you're ready. It's not when you're demanded. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate that very much. And thanks for always, you know, being there for us as well. And yeah, and, and I've never felt better. Um, again, you know, and, and, and for everybody out there that is listening, it's, it's, I've, I've never been better. And I think, I think if anybody, um, can know some of the mental struggles that I, that I, um, that, and, and I'm, and I'm fine being open about it. It, 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 it's, it helps me become healthier. And, uh, and, and if there's you know, anybody out there that's, that's, that, 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 um, it suffers through mental illness, which was I've had had in my past, and and and, and it's it's uh it, it's come back up, and so you know I appreciate that, and I think I know what what, what you're talking about, um, Ernest, and thanks for saying that again. Um, again, I've never felt better, and the only the only the only thing I could do uh, right now is be the best version that I can be, and and I, and I have to say that in the past 
when I take on uh, too many things that that uh, and not taking care of myself first. Um, uh, that that's that's just not good for anybody. And and uh, and uh, too many people. I love too many people, and I believe too many people love me. So I I think that uh, that this helped immensely. And uh, and you know what? And and today is a beautiful day that I'm able to. to be able to just talk to you guys again and i have a little bit of goosebumps just going man i miss i miss these guys and i miss this part of it you know for a while doing so many interviews with phil panther it, it got to be so much and so exhausting with one of another reason that i just needed this to step away and i think jumping into something too soon as much as i love these guys and and and, and the guys in the band uh it it it, it was it, to me a bit, a bit too much for me so this is what it is for now, and uh, and and but but for you guys and anybody listening out there, I'm as healthy <laughs> healthy that I've been in a while, and I and I feel fantastic, and I'm and I'm so thankful for the family that I have here at home, and I'm and I'm thankful for the family that I have. That's uh, where you can see their two faces right there. So <laughs> right, just one. So thanks more, for taking this time, Ernest. Just one more addendum to that. I appreciate you what you said um, to your fans that may be struggling with mental health issues. Or addictions issues i too um have struggled with alcohol and i'm not ashamed to say it because there's a lot of people that do some people just don't want to admit it i've struggled over the years that's been my vice but i've always always found that being open and honest about it helps me better than to try to pretend there's no problem so um your advice to um everybody listening is you're going to reach some people I, I know that for a fact well, I hope I can do that, Ernest. And you know, uh, my thoughts and my support are with you as well. I'm very similar to what, what your struggles, and um, and 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 uh, I will be thinking of you uh, in the meantime. And you know, now with that, I only hope that that um, that this is what this is. If there's anything I can do now to be of service to anybody else, um, it, it would be to yeah, to, to be there for anybody that, that is struggling with mental or. Or any kind of um, addiction, because uh, it's not fun when you're no. when you're in it, you know. But it, it is it is a different world when you can when you can peek your head out and uh, and uh, and accept the the help and the and the friends and family that are they're there to give it to you. Um, so yeah, I'm in a very thankful place right now, a very humble place. All right, man. Well, God bless you, Trav. I don't want to keep you much longer. Um, we look forward to chatting with you um, when you're ready. And, um, yeah, thanks again, my friend. We love you, Chad. Ernest, thank Hey, love you. Love you all. And, Ernest, and, and, and uh, seven days, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for thinking of me, thinking of me and inviting me uh, uh, to this interview. And, again, um, yeah, this is this is cool. And I, I thank you all. We love all you, right. my brother. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, Ernest. God Take bless. Care. Bye-bye. Peace. So yeah, there you, have it. there you have it, man. Like I was, you know, he's, uh, I was gonna he's, say he's there, there you have it. We, we all think alike. Right? I don't know. We have the same parents. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, um, he's. Uh, I've known Travis more than half my life, and I've never seen him in a better position right now, Ernest, as far as like him embracing life and understanding like you know the nuances of what's important and what isn't. You know, like sometimes you get immersed in this kind of industry and. And uh, you basically forget about, you know, what's the priority in your life. And Travis is is somebody who's literally lived it all, man. I mean, you know, him and I both, you know, we we have stories. Just the stories alone would like to give you cirrhosis of the liver, and you'd have to post bail uh, because we've done so many crazy things. And yeah. Travis is coming on the other side like a survivor, and he's a better man, and he's a, he's a he's a father now, and he's a husband, and. And those are the things that are in his life and his wheelhouse that are of the utmost importance. We will continue to do music and we'll do it with him. Uh, like I said, Ernest, I can't say anything more than, we're, you know, we're waiting uh, for Travis to pick up the phone and call us and say, hey, man, uh, I'm back. And when he does, he'll be back and he'll be on stage with us again doing what he did with us before. And we can't wait uh, for that to happen uh, but he'll always be with us no matter what, you know? Yeah, he sounds great. So I just want to touch on a few things. There's been a bit of a lineup change, obviously, other than Trav taking some time off. Um, tell uh, tell the uh, viewers here about, um, well, the connection to um, Marilyn Manson and Rob Zombie, Bones. Yeah, so we got Bones in the band. Danny, uh, our original drummer, didn't work out. Danny 
uh, you know, wanted to move back to Vegas. And that was something that we wanted to be supportive of him doing. Uh, the thing about this band, Ernest, is like it's a band of brothers, man. Like we, we've all grown up together. So we're at a certain age where we don't look at it like this is a permanent graveyard. Like you're, you're, you know, you have to bury yourself in this band. We all have personal lives. We have marriages. We have families, kids. So we look at it like, look, man, you know, if you got something else that you think you need to be somewhere else you need to be or somewhere else you need to go, you got to go, man. Like, we don't want to keep you back. And in the same turn, uh, you know, we had a departure with hype. You know, we had to separate uh, with that situation, too, because he's going in a completely different direction than we are musically. Mm -hmm. And we support him wholeheartedly. We only want to see that guy conquer the world. Uh, and we just felt like, yo, man, you know, the band – takes a priority for us you know we we are very serious about what we do uh we're serious about the brand of this band and we just didn't connect on the same level anymore with hype um on a family level on a brotherly level like yeah you know nothing changed in that in in that respect but as far as musical um ideologies you know we just couldn't see ourselves moving forward with him anymore we we felt it was conducive for us as a band to find somebody that's that fitted us better uh business wise and personality wise uh and just ideology wise somebody that saw business through the same um you know the same lens that we do um so there was no animosity like i said it's 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 a band of brothers man and we have nothing but love for danny and hype how can you not they're both absolutely incredibly gifted guys uh on, on you know musicians and human beings mm -hmm. there was no throwdown fight like you know big squabble it was just like hey man we see the band going this way and we don't see you guys going that same direction so we're gonna have to keep moving without you yeah. uh we hope you understand and everybody understood you know mm -hmm. um so just for the few people that don't understand what smash up is just give them a quick overview and by the way um dan say a faint wow Song. yeah that's everybody loves that one yeah. um smash up music uh no he's part of dj's mashing up music um digs here will take anywhere from seven to 15 songs from all genres of music rock pop funk metal rap edm country uh and he'll take all these different artists and all these different songs and he smashes them together we call it smash up because it's more than just two songs or even three songs it's it's a it's, it's quite a, a circus to watch us smash all these songs together and perform mm -hmm. them live. And we are the first band in history to ever do this. So we are getting a lot of recognition. It's great. Um, we love putting on the live shows. Everybody loves it. Everybody's dancing, coming up to us after going, oh, my God, what was that? I've never seen anything like this before. Um, so it's great. And if anybody out there wants to see us come to your town, Yep. Just have appropriate people look us up at Hollywood Gods, the letter N, monsters.com, and uh, get us booked. We'd love to come to your town and show you what we got. What yes. a wild website. I was telling Chris earlier, Diggs, that uh, what a genius you are. I mean, I, I don't know if I've ever seen a website that beautiful. And I'm not kissing oh, ass because you're not you. paying me that I'm aware of. <laughs> no, man, I, I appreciate it. I, I put a lot of work in the website because – you know, the band is not a self-explanatory kind of project. Like you got to kind of walk through, you know, walk people through this mosaic of different artists. And the traditional mashup, would, you know, which most people know of, is the combination of like two songs, maybe three. And like she was saying, smash up is like we take five, six, seven, ten artists uh, and really, really integrate those songs together. And you know, we get you know people DMing us and, and emailing us, DJs sending us ideas. Uh, we take ideas from anywhere because we cover some of the best, you know, matchups in the world. We cover some of the best DJs and when they create something and they send it and say, man, listen, this is some tracks that I did personally that I do in my set. If you want to throw some more artists on top of that and build it so it's more Hollywood Gods and Monsters. So people are literally, literally starting to get involved um, in the process of helping us create these things. Uh, we always take, you know, uh, submissions from people that want to give us ideas about what they would like to hear. Um, and we're just, you know, grateful that people are starting to finally, Ernest, they're starting to finally, like, understand that there's, like, this new form of music out there and they're starting to welcome us with open arms. You know, we've been on tour since uh, January of, of this year and 
Um, you know, we didn't do as much as we wanted to do because of that situation with TKO, but we are, you know, now under new management and mm -hmm. we are, we're going to Vegas. We're playing Vegas on uh, January, Friday, January 6th and uh, Saturday, January 7th during the uh, Adult Video News Awards and CES. So it's going to be a, an incredible weekend uh, to be playing Vegas. We're playing at VAMP those two nights. Yeah. Um, and then we're, yeah, we got a bunch of other stuff coming up, man, that, um, with the Moby Dicks, yeah, we're playing with the Moby Dicks, uh, yeah. the All Star Band, uh, and then um, we're, um, you know, we just we're going to be making some really big announcements in 2023. We're kind of holding back right now, but we got a lot of stuff in the pipeline, and the band is alive and well. Uh, a few new faces and Bones, you know, that's another guy, Ernest. Uh, I never really got around to answering your question. Like he, you know, I grew up with Bones. So did Travis, and so did Brian. We've known uh, Bones, you know, since he was a teenager. Um, and he's played with everybody. He's played with, you know, 6 a.m. He's His very last band was Dead by Sunrise with Chester from Lincoln Park. Yeah. Um, he's played with Marilyn Manson. He's, I mean, he's just, his, his um, pedigree is just unbelievable. Uh, but he's a brother, man. And, and in all honesty, he was the original drummer that we wanted in this. We approached him, but he was going through a loss of, a, of, of his brother and wasn't able to do anything musically at that time because his head was just so... Uh, in disarray because of the loss of his brother. So yeah. we kind of just went with Danny and then the full circle comes around and now Bonesy is in it and we couldn't be happier, you know. And uh, we have a new rapper. His name is Indica, Indicut. And he's a young kid, 23 years old, with just a ton of raw talent. Um, and we feel good. Ernest, like we feel we're going to walk into 2023 with the wind at our back and we have a lot to be grateful and humble for and we'll continue to operate and thrive that way and hopefully you know more and more people get acclimated to who we are and what we do and uh you're surely going to see us uh pushing hard in, in the next coming year you know perfect okay i think i'll uh, let you guys get back to your lives uh just one more thing what's the opposite of unsubscribe subscribe yeah, subscribe. Do his dig it in, Chris or Seven says in You must. If you love rock, you must. Yeah, you, your 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 podcast is literally the quintessential pit stop for everybody who loves rock and roll because you have such a an array of artists. Like you cover every single genre of rock uh, of every year. Mm -hmm. um, I always go to your website and I encourage people to do the same, just to constantly check in to you know, find out all the new artists that you're interviewing. Uh, and you're a big part of keeping that heartbeat of rock and roll alive. So on behalf of anybody who's a musician, an artist, and a band, uh, whatever kind of music you do, um, you know, uh, decide to play. Like, thank you, Ernest, for doing what you do. We always appreciate you so much. Love you, brother. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. So subscribe to Border City Rock Talk, as Seven and Diggs just told you to. And um, once again, guys, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you soon. Happy holidays, my brother. Happy Cheers. holidays. Thank you.